Just there, please. Oh, I've been in two restaurants and a bar today and haven't had a bite to eat. I'm absolutely starving. Admiring the additions to the theater? Admire might not exactly be the word I would use. Well, apparently, Lenin's going to announce the formation of the new Soviet state. If he isn't already dead, of course. Well, shall we see what we've got? Oh, thank you. So, two restaurants and a bar. Five journalists in three hours. The same story is recounted each time as if it were the first. And then a meeting with a director younger than most of my shoes. Golubev imagines himself a genius. But I pride myself on being an impeccable judge of character. Take you, for example. Take me? A man of certain means. Well, not anymore. But in the past, you never wanted for anything. Oh, I wanted for many things. I never had the opportunity to enjoy. Not for lack of money. And I'm sure there are many things you did enjoy all too readily. Go on. You're from a family of some stature. Inherited rather than earned? Well, it was earned at some point. Mm. But not by you. You don't have the air of a great military leader. Luckily, or else I would be dead by now. Given who you are, you should be dead. Instead, you're imprisoned at the Metropole Hotel. Why? Why are they keeping you here? My turn. The way you deburned that fish, I would say you were the daughter of a fisherman. I was raised in a village on the Black Sea. You had no siblings? That I know of. So you lived in this village dreaming of escape. That's what drew you to the stage. A place where you could forget about your life. I was at my happiest there. I go to the beach and help my father mend nets. He died when you were very young. And that's why you wanted to escape. Back to you. Am I right? Back to you. Your wife left Russia after the revolution and took the children. I have neither wife nor child. Lack of opportunity or desire. There was no shortage in either department, I can assure you. And you? Children. No, no, it would have been an impossible burden. Why? Why did they let you live? Why did you want to run away from home? I've done enough talking for today. Forget about the shoes. No, what about your sheets? Oh, for goodness sake. 